Hi, it's Ken, CR Nets Motorsports. Glad you could join us today. Glad you're here. 2008 Yamaha YZ250F bought one uh, nine months ago. And it's a nice bike, very nice bike. And we've uh, worked very hard on it. But we've had some difficulties. Learning curve on our part, stupidity on my part twice, but uh, we finally got it running, and you'll see that at the end. But I wanted to talk a little about We picked it up. It was in pretty rough shape. Uh, the plastics were trash. Uh, they looked better in the pictures than what they actually were. Um, so all that had to go. The seat was trash. My dear wife uh, recovered it, and it turned out very nice. And she put a lot of effort into it, and it looks great. Uh, cables were missing. Uh, front brake caliber missing, chain missing, the sprockets were shot. Uh, so we put a clutch in it, timing chain, piston, rings, thoroughly inspected it. And we put it all back together and we're pretty happy with ourselves. But we go to start it and it's got a bad noise. And I'm going to play that clip right now. Alright, let's see how Casey's leg works today. It's slippery. Something. Yep, that's a bad noise. Couldn't lift that sucker. So, reached out to a friend of ours who uh, is uh, named Peter, and Resto Rooster is his channel, and he specializes in four strokes overhead cam. He has much more experience than I do. So, I sent him a little clip that you just saw, and I sent it to him, and I said, well, What do you think? And he said, Timing, chain, tensioner, uh, classic sound. So I could have changed it while it was on the bike, but I you know, had second thoughts and I said, let's pull the whole engine out and we're going to check it and make sure it's right. So pulled the engine out, checked everything, everything was fine, timing, perfect, dead nuts. Put it back together. So here we go, we're done. No, it didn't work out that way. Uh, we crank it up and it's got a slap to it, you know, slap, top slap. Not another good sound. The timing chain whine was gone, but now it has a slap. <sighs> what did I do wrong? So, tear it all apart. Pull the engine out again. And didn't have to split the case, but we tore it all the way apart. And lo and behold, uh, below the oil pickup is the C-clip that holds in the piston wrist pin. And we look at the piston and it's rounded out. The C-clip I did not install properly 
it popped out and went to the bottom of the case and the piston was slapping and it started working itself loose. Now we just ran it for a couple of, you know, 30 seconds maybe. I mean, it was making a racket. So another new piston, new set of rings, put it all back together and not bad, and not bad at all. But transmission sucks. Would go into gear, wouldn't come out of gear, it just wasn't right. So, guess what? Let's pull the engine a third time. Couldn't we? I'm getting really good at it. So we pull the engine, but this time we had to split the case. To get to the training, you got to split the case. So we split the case. Well, I'm going to show you something. I'll put some pictures up on the screen. This is the shift cam. And then the YZ250 and the 450. And maybe other bikes. Apparently Yamaha kept these the same for uh, a few years in both the big bikes and the smaller bikes. This is what they call a Segway. And your shift fork attaches to a bolt. And that's how you shift gears. Anyway, long story short, there's a little pin. And I'll show, put a picture on the screen. And this pin, if it doesn't line up with the Segway exactly right, okay, transmission don't work. Don't work good. How can I tell you that? Because I've done it. So, had to split the case, pull the training out, pull the shift cam out, and the pin actually punched through. It was driven in, so the Segway would just spin freely. And that's what screwed me up. So, it's rather difficult, but it can be done. Get the pin back in position, put it all back together, voila, we have a transmission. That works. So, had to split the case, had to put the case back together, reassemble all the engine, everything, idler gears and the clutch basket and the uh, uh, you know, the whole nine yards. Oil pump. Oh, the oil pump was shot on this bike too. I had to replace that. So anyway, we get it all back together and you're going to see it runs and it doesn't make bad noises. Uh, the carburetor, Casey rebuilt the carburetor and uh, it's a little off. He's going to take care of the tuning on that. We're going to put the bike uh, through its bases. And that means we're going to take it up to a track that we have locally and uh, we're going to run it uh, there at the track. And uh, at Thanksgiving, we're going out to Barnwell Mountain and that bike will make the trip. And we will run it through its paces there. And once we're absolutely sure that everything is perfect, we will, you know, put it on the market probably in the spring of 2025. With every bike we build, we do a book on them. And it covers, you know, like the bill of sale and um, the title, if applicable. Um, every part that was bought for the bike, and, it's, and I keep a spreadsheet on it too. So, I mean, we had to put front caliper on the bike, we had to put all the cables on it, we had to put throttle housing on it. Uh, sprockets, both sprockets were terrible. The bike didn't look that bad in the pictures in the beginning, but it was neglected. We'll say it that way. Uh, put a new radiator on it. Um, uh, just, I didn't want to have any issues with it. Had to put uh, the front end bearings, you know, both wheel bearings and in the steering column in the triple fork. So, you know, it, we did the right thing. Swing arm bearings, oh, had to do those too. Um, so, the bike is totally restored. It's a beautiful bike and it looks great. All new plastics. It really does look good. So we're happy with it. And now, you know, the proof of our pudding you'll see here and it actually runs and doesn't sound bad. The carbs a little off but Casey will handle that. So anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy. And uh, by all means, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for being here.
sounds good. Will you stand behind that when you do that? Yes. I mean, it knocks you over. <laughs>